Let's have a look at a couple more examples of factorising trinomials. If you're asked to factorise 2x squared plus 6x minus 36, just like we did when we looked at the difference of two squares factorising, etc., the first thing you always have to do when you're asked to factorise is check if there is a common factor. That is the first thing you're going to do because it's going to make your life much easier if you take out any common factor before you try and do any other factorization. And here we can see that in each of these terms, you can divide 2 into each of those terms. And so let's take out a common factor of 2. And then what will be left here is x squared. What will be left there is 3x. And what will be left from there is 18. Now we can go ahead and factorize this trinomial in the way we always have. We know that we're going to end up with two brackets, x plus something or minus something in each of them. We know that they have to, these two, two have to multiply together to give you negative 18. So if it's going to multiply together to give you negative, it's either got to be pos times neg or neg times pos. So we're going to have a look at what are all the things that multiply together to give you negative 18. We start with 1. It'll be 1 times negative 18 or negative 1 times 18. Then 2, 2 times negative 9 or negative 2 times 9. Then 3, 3 times negative 6 or negative 3 times 6. 4 doesn't go into 18. 5 doesn't go into 18. 6 does, but we've already got 6, so now we've done enough. And we've got to look which of these are going to add together to give me 3. Well, if I look down here, 3 subtract 3 and add negative 6 is going to give you negative 3. But negative 3 plus 6 is going to give you positive 3. So it's this combo here. And so we need to put it in negative 3 and positive 6. So you try this one, pause the video and try it for yourself. OK, remember the first step is always to look for a common factor. And here there is 3 that can divide into each of these terms. So we're going to take 3 out as a common factor. And we're left with this. We're then going to look to factorize our trinomial. And this is a nice easy one because it's positive, so it's a positive times a positive, or a negative times a negative, but they've got to add together to give you a positive number. So it has to be a positive times a positive. So what are the, the two positives that can multiply together to give you 25? There'll be 1 times 25, not 2, not 3. 4 doesn't go into 25, but 5 does. 5 times 5 is 25, and you're already repeating, so you don't actually have to go any further than that. And so we know that it is x plus 5 and x plus 5. And if we actually wanted to write that neatly, we could write it as x plus 5 squared.